make them in now. Got nothing but celebrity magazines to read in your lobby. I'd probably rather have my fingernails extracted than read one of those. They're just people too, my friend. They're just people. Really. Those people are famous for no other reason than because they're famous. They're garbage. I've worked my entire life to become a writer, and yet they're famous simply because of scandal. It's ridiculous. It makes me sick. We need to work on our language, you and I. What do you mean, language? The English language? No, 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 no. You see, you're engaging in self-deprecation again, and it's hurting your loved ones. You mean my ex? I broke up with her because I couldn't stand to be with someone who thought of my process as a form of psychosis rather than a creative outlet. Maybe she's right. Maybe I should just end it all. It's what she thinks I want. She was trying to help you. You should commend her for what she's doing for you right now. Commend her? For what? My writing is now viewed as a psychotic man's expressions. I can't ever be taken seriously now. What exactly are you writing down? Your diagnosis. Which is? Depression. And you're out of touch with reality to boot. I'll have to put you on medication. Alright, look. This is the problem I have with you people. You seriously think everything is a disorder. You're in denial. No, you're in denial. You ignore the flaws of humanity. You're the disorder. We're getting testy. We need to calm down. Have you ever practiced proper relaxation methodology? Stop it. Stop a what? I'm merely postulating. Stop saying we. You and me are not the same person. I'm only attempting to make you feel more comfortable. Fine, then make me feel uneasy. Make me feel disquiet. Anything. But don't pretend like you can make me feel comfortable. Uh-huh. Look, we're all different. Each individual can't be typed into a group. We all have something in common, though. We're human, and that's the way it's supposed to be. You're out of touch. Delusions are what you're experiencing. You're not thinking about real life. And what is real life, according to you, sir? Well, one must have stability. A career, a family. You must be at peace, as one would say. Well, someone might not want those things. Listen, I've been trying to make it as a poet for years now, and I've got no money, no family, I'm just on my own. Sometimes even living out of my car. Do you really think that I care? Your carelessness and general apathy is furthering your diagnosis. I would rather die than be stuck behind a desk like this for the rest of my life. Why, why'd you do that? What, you mean sigh? Yes. Well, we're more alike than you think. Only what? Well, you're worse than I had originally imagined. I mean, you're impulsive, depressed. You reject uh, norms in favor of some contrived false reality. You're, you're not happy. And why should I? I'd rather have a setback than a success. We need that. And that's why you need medication. Take these, they're mine. Listen, I know that I'm supposed to fill out all the material and everything, but your situation seems dire, and uh, you seem like you're in rough shape. You know what I have to say about that? Screw your pills. You have no appreciation for thinking, for creativity, for beauty. It's a shame it's become a sin to be a human anymore. So I'm the one that needs help.